Hello, this is Tiger's Hospital. How may I help you? Mm hmm. Okay, thank you. Good morning, Dr. Miles. Oh, we're going to get Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, is today going to be busy? Um, not that I know of, but today is one of those unexpected days. Oh, true. Man, what's the problem? My son Tyler, he can't walk, he can't swallow food, and he doesn't know who he is or where he is. Um, how long has this been happening? About a week or two. And you're just now coming to the hospital? Wow, I didn't think it was that serious. Well, obviously, it's very serious. Oh, oh my goodness, someone just help him! Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, can you get him? Yeah. Sit, 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 sit. You're sleeping. Yeah, over there. Be still. <laughs> Be still. <laughs> Did you find anything yet to help Tyler? Uh, yes, I found that DNA that is uh, found on the end of chromosomes are called telomeres. And DNA polymers is the principal enzyme involved in DNA replication. Replication is a process where DNA is replicated. Wow, that's great. I found out that DNA is a nucleic acid that consists of a long chain of RNA, which are molecules that carry instructions for turning amino acids into proteins. Um, there are three types of RNA, which are ribosomal RNA, which is RNA that combines with proteins to form ribosomes, transfer RNA, that is RNA that carries each amino um, acid to a ribosome during protein synthesis, and the last one is messenger RNA, which is molecules that carry instructions for turning amino acids into proteins. Oh, oh I also read about RNA. RNA polymers is an enzyme that links together the, gro the growing uh, chain of RNA nucleus during transcription, which is a synthesis of an RNA molecule from a DNA template. Wow. <laughs> Guys, look at I research. What? I found that DNA has to be capable of storing, copying, and transmitting the genetic information in the cell. Its structure is a nucleic acid made up of nucleotides joining into bond strands or chains twisted together by covalent bonds. They are made of bases called ID, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. They fit perfectly together by base pairing. Wait, so what's the difference between DNA and RNA? DNA is deoc ribose and RNA is ribose. DNA is double-stranded while RNA is single-stranded. DNA has thymine and RNA has uracil. And lastly, there's only one type of DNA with three types of RNA. Wow, there's so much to think about when we're trying to make a diagnosis. Oh, um, by the way, what's up with Tyler? He's still, he's still not walking or talking. He sometimes switches, but he's still unresponsive. We really need to hurry up and find out what's wrong with Tyler. But we can't work on an empty stomach, so let's get something to eat. Let's go. That's up. Uh, hey, do you know uh, where Dr. Rex is? Uh, I think she's talking to the people from that made the genome project. Any yeah, idea what's wrong with the patient? Not yet. Wilson matches his symptoms with the different diagnostics. Good thing that Gregor Mendel discovered the science of genetics in 1865 by studying the characteristics of pea plants, and we would have no chance. Yes, also for Rosalind Franklin for using X-ray diffraction to discover the structures of DNA. Also for Aaron Shaw for discovering that ID and thymine bases are almost equal in any sample of DNA. Uh, who discovered that hydrogen bonds hold the two structures of DNA together? I believe they were James Watson and Francis Crick after they studied Franklin's X-ray pattern that led them 
to make a model that explains the specific structure and properties of DNA. Oh yeah, it also helps explain Chargrad's rule of A equals F and G equals C. Also, Frederick Griffith was one that found that gene information can transfer from cell to cell in 1928. What's the central dogma of molecular biology again? Uh, the central dogma of molecular biology is that uh, information is transferred from DNA, to RNA, and uh, protein. Oh yeah, and also includes viruses that transfer information in the opposite direction from RNA to DNA. And as usual for generalization, the way in which DNA, RNA, and proteins are involved in pattern genetic information into cell living cells. Wow, that's a lot of information. Yeah, we need to remember all. Let's go research where more to make sure what's wrong with this patient. So, so far we've researched different possible diagnoses for Tyler by looking at his DNA. Dr. Miles, based on his condition, what do you think he may have? Uh, well, since a condition, a condition is a change in the genetic strain that may have a well or no effect, I think he may have sickle cell. But Tyler doesn't have any symptoms for sickle cell. Um, he doesn't have any mutations or change in the genetic material in his blood cells. Oh, true, and his pedigree is absent for that trait. That's why I think that he has cystic fibrosis. But he doesn't have the symptoms for that. Well, I think he has Huntington's disease because he has all the symptoms and the trait in his pedigree is present. Yeah. So let's go tell them so they don't have to worry. Yeah. No more worries. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, okay, so we uh, tested your uh, son's DNA and ran it through the uh, Human Genome Project. Wait, what's the Human Genome Project? The Human Genome Project is a 13 year international effort with the main goals of sequencing all three billion base pairs of human DNA and identifying all human genes. So what did you find out about his genes? Well, we found that he has a mutation in a gene on chromosome 4. Uh, and he has a dominant ally mm -hmm. for protein found in brain cells. So, what does this mean exactly? You know what's wrong with Tyler? Oh. It turns out he has Huntington's disease. What is that? Um, it's a brain disorder that affects a person's ability to think, talk, and move. <laughs> oh, okay. It's all right. It's okay. Just take the tissue. You're gonna make it through. <laughs> all right, time to get up. Get back in the chair. Come on, get the car. So what's going to happen to him? Um, well, his expected lifespan is about 10 to 30 years. Um, he'll have um, a risk of depression and suicide, and he'll need help for his daily activities. Oh my son! Oh, uh, well, here's the bill. The bill? Oh my gosh! It is three thousand dollars. Come back. I live. So oh, we're so sorry. Ooh, that was a hard day. Yeah, yeah, I'm exhausted. Goodness, goodness. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, go. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, so after we tested your son's DNA, ran through the human genome project. Okay, so after we tested your son's DNA, ran through the human genome project. Genome project. Wait, what? What's the human genome project? The human genome. Genome. So when did you find out about his genes? <laughs> Alley for a protein found in brain cells. 
Oh, oh, oh. So what does that mean exactly? <laughs> what is wrong with Tyler? Sort of that affects a person's ability to think, talk, and move. <laughs> But today is one of those unexpected days. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she gave you the thumbs up. Oh, oh, you, you know, 